<clears throat> yes, uh, uh, the background is uh, in the uh, strong intensification of Finnish agriculture during the past decades, which has resulted in a strong decrease of habitat diversity. <clears throat> during our EU membership, there was a tendency of having more grasslands, uh, which uh, <clears throat> uh, because cup, because of the cup demand of 10% of set aside in non cattle farms in southern Finland. <clears throat> Otherwise, we would have lost uh, very, very much of <clears throat> grassland because of the uh, uh, specialization of <coughs> agriculture so that uh, <coughs> dairy farming was moving uh, towards uh, central and northern Finland and southern Finland uh, remained uh, cereal Finland, <coughs> the cultivation of cereals and other uh, crop plants was here and has been important. In addition to these uh, Cap set aside. We have had some 10% of other grasslands which are uncultivated or abundant fields. <clears throat> and these have been there since the field reservation pro, uh, policy in the 1970s. And uh, many of them have are still existing and uh, they have provided uh, the, <coughs> together with the cup set aside the possibility for increase in many bird population, bird, <coughs> many bird populations. Nowadays the cup demand is only five or seven percent uh, which has uh, resulted in a decrease in habitat diversity and availability of suitable habitat for many bird species. Next, please. Maria, next, please. OK. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Opal suggests uh, a model for sustainable intensification of use of agricultural land. And as the former intensification has been a reason for the decrease of biodiversity in farmland, our task was now to assess the impact of, <coughs> of land use changes which Opal suggests on biodiversity and we use for this <clears throat> extensive please next bird census data from different parts of Finland. We have <clears throat> more than 5300 fields field plots study plots uh, 87 study plots and 5400 fields studied which cover about 0.75% uh, of Finland's agricultural area. <clears throat> we found 26 open farmland species and had, had a very big number of territories included. <clears throat> Here the species studied are listed and the colors indicate uh, their Red Book uh, uh, classes from the <coughs> to, from 2019. Next, please. <coughs> we used modeling where the impact was assessed with modeling <coughs> with responsible variables, uh, they were density of territories and density of species of open farmland birds. 
separately for the set of all species and the set of red listed species. And <clears throat> the response variables were calculated per hectare from the field parcel based data. Next, please. <clears throat> Here is the list of explanatory variables uh, used in the models. First, we have plant species, those which are cultivated or set aside and abundant fields. Then <clears throat> plant cover in spring, either without or with plant cover. Contact of, <clears throat> contact of the field to the forest edge is either without or with contact, then field shape index indexed with that kind of a formula. And then we had uh, the width of the open agricultural landscape where the field, each of the fields was situated, classified in five classes. And then distance of the midpoint of the field from the forest edge, again classified to five then we had uh, geographical coordinates, the year of the census, the number <coughs> identify, ID number of each of the study plots and uh, area, look area of the parcel, field parcel. Next, please. <coughs> We used uh, general additive models where the assumption was that uh, the explanatory variables are nonlinear. <clears throat> the response models take the this kind of a general form where rho is the intercept which includes the influence of the first class or of classified variables. S refers to smoothing terms, ST to standardization, RE to random, random effects. In connection of year, F refers to its use as a factor, that is the years were modeled separately, not as a continuous variable. <clears throat> this smoothing controls random effects of respective variables and thus frees the interesting ecological variables to the focus of the analysis. Next, please. And here are the results. Uh, this is uh, without the scores only the significances shown for all species and red species and uh, separately for density of territories and uh, density of species uh, at the down bottom down these deviance ex percentages uh, show the deviance explained and these are fairly high percentages so the models are quite significant <clears throat> in general the important explanatory variables were the extensive management of fields stubble fellows, set sites and uh, abundant fields, natural pastures, they are all highly significant. Also cultivation technique is very significant, uh, that is uh, whether the field had plant cover in spring or not. Among landscape structure variables, the classes uh, of open landscape, classes four and five were <coughs> significant, uh, which means that uh, those with, with minus signs, <coughs> which means that uh, small openings of farmland had <coughs> less 
territories and less species. And uh, contact to forest had a similar neg negative impact on those response variables. Then uh, the distance class five, which is the closest to the forest, has a negative significance for species density and threat listed species territory density, but uh, positive for uh, all species density. I don't go to to think about this uh, difference here in the sign because it would take quite a lot of time, but uh, you must notice that uh, <clears throat> the, these uh, sets of analysis are not uh, independent because red listed species are included in the uh, models of all species. Yeah, these smoothing terms also the geographical uh, coordinates and uh, field size and study area size, they are significant, but uh, their impact was was removed from the ecological impacts. Next, please. <clears throat> so <clears throat> to conclude, the most valuable for <clears throat> Biodiversity are fallows and uncultivated fields in the midst of large open stretches of fields, large farmland openings. Especially valuable <coughs> seem to be extensively managed fields of large open farmland landscapes and uncultivated fields and natural pastures they need to be managed so that uh, they are not always all of them are not lost for uh, afforestation or uh, or growing to <coughs> dense bushes <coughs> small structures of and features should be kept within and at the edges of open landscape respectively next please <clears throat> Ditches and their shelter beds are important for birds and to, and to keep them the size of fields and shape of unific shape unification should not be increased more than is uh, necessary, I think in <laughs> economic or practical terms. To increase uncultivated farmland in uh, habitat in farmland main drains should be shaped towards more natural current forms and shelter belts should be managed with bushes and some trees. Next please. <clears throat> we made also another assessment of the impact of lands land use changes in farmland and that is uh, the impact of afforestation on biodive uh, on carabid beetles these two are minutes, you of, two yeah. minutes yes these are beneficial species uh, animals because they eat harmful spe insects and slugs we had uh, four replicates uh, of the successional series from spring cereal cultivated spring cereals, set aside to more than 32 years old after afforestation. <clears throat> With several indices, we found that the, the community was more species rich, diverse and abundant in the cultivated fields than in forests. <clears throat> and the Diversity increased first because uh, the open farmland and forest species met, came together, but then it started to decline towards something what is typical for forests. <clears throat> Hence, the overall impact uh, in case of carabid beetles is that the regional 
biodiversity will decrease with afforestation because forests are the prevailing habitat and farmland usually not. So we lose farmland, uh, garabid community, which is more diverse, and we get instead the forest community. Next, please. Yes, 